Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D and today is a Q&A session. Uh, I, I'm getting a lot of questions and I really appreciate you guys sending me all these questions and asking asking a lot of you know a lot of good questions that sometimes I need to think about how to you know how to properly answer that. Uh, so one of the questions that um, I got um, not one just many from many people but same question how to clean the brushes how i'm cleaning the brushes so today i'm going to show you or explain i'm not going to show because i have to move all this group into utility room so i'm just going to show you what i'm using and the process how how i'm cleaning the brushes my brushes so this will be a q a for today so let's get started <laughs> So, cleaning the brushes, very, very important. Uh, I was taught from, from my youth, uh, from the ch you know, childhood, um, to respect the tools that I'm working with. Uh, either, you know, either brushes uh, or uh, anything else I'm using, like, you know, pliers, uh, screwdriver, uh, drill, hammer, whatever I'm using as a tools, uh, I was taught to respect the tool because this is tools that letting me uh, get the job done and uh, in order to, for a job to be done you need to have the proper tools and not only you have to pro have a proper tool but you have to take care of the proper tools so brushes essential tool for painting right so you have we have to take care of our brushes so the biggest problem with the brushes and I see it all the time all the time for example I will show you some my brushes that are these brushes and I just fa I finished painting um, one piece and I started another this is under painting these are the brushes uh, this brush is about three years old this brush is about four years old this brush is probably only two years old but this is four years old brushes and you know what you won't be able to find any marks of oil on the handles or well, maybe it's some, some tiny when I I didn't see it and I didn't wipe it but I I'm taking care of my equipment I'm taking care of my brushes um, the only palette <laughs> I have some marks and it specifically didn't clean because a lot of people will come to me and will like they cut you know, artists fellow artists and they ask me constantly Vlad how you work and so clean and I decided you know what I just get tired of this question so I decided skip several times cleaning my palette so it's get kind of dirty and then actually I did some you know some marks specially just and leave them just to make sure but it drives me crazy so anyway to to the point so um, the biggest problem and I see it a lot in in my you know fellow artists my friends the brushes brushes uh, are ugly they like you know one year old and they like completely destroyed and they have to pay money to buy new brushes that's number one and second and just I, I see that disrespect to to the tools it just drive me crazy so um, again we need to properly clean our brushes to make sure when we're pulling the brush next day let's say and we're mixing something let's say with titanium white lemon yellow uh, just a just a bit or uh, something else in the light values and we start applying to the you know, to the canvas and suddenly you see from here it's just dirt is coming and you're just frustrated because of this dirt is like mixing making making mud uh, and you have to wipe it and start over why the brushes I mean clean the brushes to make sure uh, oil is not coming out not soaking in so why why it's happening basically when you're cleaning the brushes you have to clean I mean you have to clean the entire brush not only at the top at the tip right here but mostly you have to cl you clean inside so basically if you take the brush and you split it let me show it let me put my pointer on the brush actually when you split it and look inside you know this brush is not even clean I have to clean it <laughs> I just pre-clean it and it's completely clean that this is four years old brush and that's what I'm saying you have to clean the brushes right so when you cleaning on the tip and your oil is sits right here two things happening first 
core is getting hotter because oil will dry and will just work as a glue. It will glue, you know, the, the hair. Uh, and your, your brush is getting stiffer, stiffer and stiffer to the point that you cannot use it. Yeah, as I said, I haven't cleaned this brush yet. So you have to clean not only on, at the tip, you have to make sure you're cleaning core of the, uh, or settle, what do we call it? I call it core uh, of the brush uh inside so when you split it you look inside and there if, if you can see the oil inside this brush is not clean you have to keep going cleaning it okay uh on all brushes some brushes are easier to clean some brushes are there you know you have to spend a little bit more time for example uh, i'm using rosemary um ivory series and this is most difficult to clean uh you have to you have to spend additional probably five minutes cleaning one brush a bristle, for example, this brush is silver, uh, Grand Prix, easy. Um, one minute, this brush is clean, for some reason, I'm not sure. Uh, synthetics are very, very easy to clean. Uh, I mean, soft synthetic, because it's just soft. All right, so how are we cleaning? What tools do I use? Uh, different. There's different methods. Um, I have my method because I'm, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a clean guy. Um, I love my brushes to be clean. So, what I'm using to clean my brushes and how I'm cleaning. One thing I would recommend, do not use Gimsole to clean your brushes. Yes, and you're probably like, Vlad, what are you talking about? You're crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm Russian crazy. <laughs> but I'm telling you, do not use Gimsole to clean your brushes. And I'll tell you why. The Gimsol is fast drying, uh, it will dissolve the paint, but it's a fast drying uh, liquid uh, or solvent. So what it will do to your um, brush, you will be able to clean fast, but it will do uh, flower blooming, what we call, uh, to your brush. So basically your brush will do this. And you won't be able to use this brush. All right. I unfortunately I don't have because I'm I'm using my method. I don't have those brushes. I'll throw them away already. So do not use Gimsol as your main cleaner uh, solvent. Sometimes I'm using Gimsol only when I'm going on plain air, uh, when I'm competing, and I know I will go to one location, then I go to another location, then I go to another location. So maybe three, four locations. And when I'm using, I will show you what I'm using to clean, it will actually, it needs to dry. So I don't have this luxury of, I need at least six hours for brush to dry. That's why I'm using Gimsol from session to session. And uh, at the end of the day, when I'm done painting, I will uh, get to my Airbnb or <clears throat> if I'm painting outside, uh, I, have to, I mean, I will come back to my studio. I will jump on my process how I'm cleaning anyway. So a Gimsol is just temporarily uh, solvent or solution to pre-clean uh, the brushes from session to session. All right, so what I'm using to clean the brushes. So, so the first one, the first cleaner that I'm using all the time, and it's actually on my, here on my, uh, on my station, uh, painting station, and it is in actually in, uh, brush cleaner, cleaner uh, container right here. Oops, my uh, ring is. I need to change it. The uh, container right here. It's kind of dirty because I just cleaned the brushes. And what is inside is this terpenoid natural. Yes, terpenoid natural. Amazing thing. Highly, highly recommend. Just get. I'm getting. I have like three or four of this in my studio and I'm using it constantly. So, what Terpenoid Natural will do to your brush? It will actually uh, break the molecule formula of the oil uh, completely. So you can actually clean your brush in the Terpenoid Natural and then you can go to your utility sink and you can wash it with the water and it's, it. it's, it's basically done. But I'm going to two more steps. So basically what I will do I have my, and I will show you. I was thinking I will just tell that my process, but I decided, you know what, I will show you. So basically what I have, I have my terpenoid, 
let me take this brush, the small one. And when I'm done, when I'm done painting at the end, what I will do, I'll take my paper towel or napkin, so whatever you do, um, whatever you have to clean your brushes, and I'm, I will wipe my brush, I mean, clean my brush with a paper towel. And basically what I do, I will squeeze it and then pull it out. And I will squeeze it and pull it out. And I will do it several times until I'm barely some, I mean, something will be coming out, oil will come out, but you don't see the clog, you know, the big paint coming out, all right? So after I clean with my uh, paper towel, and by the way, another thing, never ever, yeah, how we say, uh, clean your brushes when you're painting. Sometimes I see, uh, and actually a lot, um, you know, artists will use one brush, paint, work on the canvas, and then go to, instead of taking a new brush or wiping the brush, cleaning brush in whatever, Gimso or something else, um, sometimes not even wiping it, just clean and then go to another paint to mix. What it does, your brush is wet and your oil is is just just as a liquid. When you when you get the oil from your palette, it, it's just dissolving the oil, so it's it's a liquidy. So it, it can, it's just creating mud right away. Uh, so that's what you you know learn from you know if you go to uh, Russia to any uh, art school they will tell you do not clean your brush in a solvent just wipe between the sessions you can wipe it if you're using different you know uh, dark, dark side paints uh, you can just wipe it use another paint wipe it use another paint you cannot of course use ultramarine white or uh, violet or risen crimson wipe and then go to titanium white and a little bit of um, cobalt to paint your sky no you have to get new brush uh, but always wipe use paper towel to wipe do not clean in the so any solid like gimso or anything else between the mixing all right always wipe so you take your brush full with oil you just wipe it right with your paint then with the paper towel then you take you take your uh, terpenoid natural and just dip it and I'll normally dip it several times like this see it dripping so I will dip it several times it's like not convenient to show you <laughs> and then I will dip it several times and then I will see that it's actually dripping and I will wipe it and I'm wiping until I don't see any oil coming out so what it does, it will, will break the oil I and mean, the molecule uh, formula of the oil, so you can clean it in just a regular water. Uh, the terpenoid neutral is very liquidy, so it will get into core or settle, and it will pull or break the oil that sits actually inside, and that's what we're shooting for. We want to clean actually inside. So I will do it several times. I'm not mixing and cleaning I'm just dipping dipping and then wiping dip and then wipe all right and then when it's done I will just put my brush on the side and I'll get another brush and I will go to um, for another brush all right so this is my turpenoid natural that sits right here next uh, next step uh, step number two is you have two options one option is, and it's, again, it's crazy, but I, I, I found this one of the best way to clean the brushes. And this is just this, dish, dish wash uh, cleaner. This is Panel Life. I'm using it all the time. One of the best cleaner. First of all, it's not drying your brush cr like crazy, like Gimsol, and it will, it will clean. So what I, how I do it, I, will, I have this container, and you can probably get this containers from uh, I'm not sure where I got this container, but I have like three or four or five of these containers. Just get any containers. Um, put a little bit, actually, you know what, I'm gonna clean it anyway. So I'm gonna put about this much, if I have five brushes. This is how much you need. Not, not you know, not, not much. And then what I will do, I will have my um, sink running, water is running. And then I will basically I will start cleaning my brush like this. I mean, my paper towel. 
like this and what I will do I will try to squeeze my brush kind of at the edge of this container and I'm looking and sometimes I even just push it against the edge and see if any oil or any coloration is coming from the core my job is to clean the core the settle right so if I see something coming I will clean it again like this dip 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 and again I will just try to clean it squeeze it and I see if anything coming from the core from the settle from here and you will see it if sometimes you push it like this oops you push it like this and it will see the colors coming from the core from uh, uh, under the metal okay and then you're gonna clean it until until it's completely clean so this is option number one so I will clean it here and wash it clean it and wash it until I don't see anything coming out from the core from, or from the saddle from metal piece okay so this is option number one using Palma Life or any dishwash, dishwasher uh, cleaner that's option number one. I, I take this with me on any plein air competitions or anywhere I'm traveling. This is, you know, it, this is in my, uh, in my gear, item in my gear, cleaning gear. And as an option, a very good option is, so the step number two, but it's option number two as well, uh, using the soap. Uh, this is uh, the Master Artist Soap, highly recommend. Again, it's not drying your brush like crazy and it's worked as a conditioner as well. So uh, I normally have a plastic container. You can get like a soap uh, container. Um, you, I think you, you still can get. So I have it in my plastic container and what I will do, I'll just do like this. Um, and again, washing in the sink. And again, until I don't see anything coming from the core from under the metal so I'm cleaning make sure there is no oil inside so this is option number two you can use this this is actually very rich in, in, in fat whatever they're using uh, I hope they're not using uh, like animals um, there is another option you can actually have it, uh, several bars of soap that they got from Middle East uh, or like four or five pieces it's based on it's olive oil based uh it's very rich in fat so it's it's clean faster and another option is um that we used to use in in um uh, you know back in um uh, ukraine or russia um it's it's a bar very fat fat bar but unfortunately it's made from animals uh, but it's it's one of the best cleaning soap so this is option number two. So option number one, uh, number one is this soap, and option number two is this. And I'll cleaning with a bar or with uh, this inside this container until I don't see anything coming from the core or from the saddle, uh, from underneath the you know the metal piece of the of the brush. And then final step number three is um, this. So this is a master uh, called the master brush cleaner and preserver. This is not you know highly recommend. This is a must for any artist uh, studio or when you're play on you know, traveling for plein air. This is just a must. This is conditioner basically. First of all, this thing will pull any oil from any brush. It just I've never seen any brush. I have actually, at one case, uh, the reason I got to this, um, I had a brush that I forgot to clean and I was so upset. I actually uh, talked to several artists and some, one, of, one of the artists recommend, recommended this and he said he normally forgot, you know, he's not a big cleaner, but <laughs> and he, he sometimes, you know, he said, I have brushes sitting for five days, I forgot to clean him. Uh, basically, he will dip it into uh, temp Tempered Noit Natural, just get it softer and then into this, and this will pull everything. So basically, the brush will be like new, like brand new. So this is uh, the Master Brush Cleaner and preser uh, Preserver. So this is basically um, how you do it. You just take the brush, I won't do it right now because I need soap. You need to make sure water is dripping is going <clears throat> so you have to clean it after a soap 
or after the after the uh, dishwasher cleaner and then you just take a brush soak it in the water and then load it with this cleaner with master cleaner and then you have to use your fingers basically uh, so you load this and then when it's loaded you basically taking your, your two fingers and you squeezing squeezing and push and pulling the oil or whatever from the core and just pulling it like this you're pulling it out you're pulling it out and then clean it load it again inside and then start working with the fingers i normally do this i like move the um, hair from left to right and i turn it and i turn it and i squeeze it and until everything is clean soap is coming out of this brush all right so this is the uh, uh, step number three uh, a must step also when you're using uh, master cleaner the step number three there's two options how we can use it uh, one option is actually um, I'm painting daily and I'm using majority of my brushes so I don't preserve that's the reason why it's called preserve preserver so what you can do when you clean the brush you can actually soak your brush in the water and then dip it into a container and get get it loaded and then squeeze it and fix your brush the you know, shape of your brush and basically let it dry so brush will be you know sometimes you're buying new brushes and the uh, brush comes like solid it's like like a uh, wax or something so you have to break it so if, if you know this there is uh, you know several brushes that are using or used today uh, and then you want to clean it and not, you're not going to use them for you don't know how long and you you want to preserve uh, those you know the hair and the brushes then you can apply the uh, final coat of this cleaner and don't clean just squeeze it and make a shape of your brush of the hair and let it dry and this will preserve uh, your brush when it's done i will rinse my brushes and i'll put them on my um, here in my jugs of brushes and for the next day i know it's i need the six hours to make sure that uh, the brush is dry completely if i need to paint i will use another brush not this the brush that i actually cleaned I think I cover everything. I think. So this is how you clean your brushes. And I highly, 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 I don't know how to say, how many times I have to say highly, recommend clean your brushes, respect your tools, respect especially brushes. Um, do not use Gimsol as your brush cleaner because it will do um, flower bloom. So your brush will go like this. Uh, something like, which I don't have, but it will be, basically it will be like this you know it's... no i don't have it <laughs> i had several brushes that i forgot to clean and i throw them away because i can't use it i cannot pull them together uh, sometimes what you can do you can take the brush if something like this happening see this hair is sticking out one thing i forgot to mention when you rinse don't try to squeeze the water what you do just rinse it and shake it like this shake it make sure the water is actually inside because the water what the water will do it will pull the hair together and it will just keep it together okay it's a, it will dry but when when it's drying the hair will be pulled to the place where it belongs to okay um that's it if you have any questions how to clean and you have questions i mean i explain everything how to clean but if you wanted like additional questions, details, uh, again, contact me. Uh, go to my website, vladduchev.com, uh, contact form, shoot me email, uh, and I normally reply. I collect all the you know, questions, and I go line, you know, line by line in the list of uh, how I put you know, questions. So, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, click the like, click the bell and stay tuned because a lot of uh, videos are coming i starting this q and a uh, sessions to uh, you know the answer uh, give the answers my answers again this is my answer this is not the answers this is my answers to your questions my 
how I understand the problems and how to solve the problems that maybe you have. All right, if you already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, and stay tuned. We're gonna do much more. See ya.